Welcome to Wake Up With God. We live stream daily Mass today. We attend the Holy Mass on Friday 11th, October 2024. Friday of week 27 in ordinary time. Now the prince of this world is to be overthrown, says the Lord. And when I am lifted up from the earth, I shall draw all men to myself. Please keep quiet and concentrate on attending the Mass. Subscribe to the channel to follow the next Masses. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today as we reflect on the power of God versus the power of Satan, of evil, it's good to purify ourselves of all that is evil within us, all that is harmful for others and for us as well. And let's pray during this Holy Eucharist that you and I may be filled with the power of God, with the grace of God. And for the times we have failed to do so, let's humbly ask Lord's pardon. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Gird yourselves and weep, O priests. Wail, O ministers of the altar. Come, spend the night in sackcloth, O ministers, O my God. The house of your God is deprived of offering and libation. Proclaim a fast. Call an assembly. Gather the elders, all who dwell in the land, into the house of the Lord your God, and cry to the Lord, Alas, the day, for near is the day of the Lord, and it comes as ruin from the Almighty. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sound the alarm on the holy mountain. Let all who dwell in the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming. Yes, it is near, a day of darkness and of gloom, a day of clouds and somberness. Like dawn spreading over the mountains, a people numerous and mighty, their like has not been from of old, nor will it be after them, even to the years of distant generations. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will judge the world with justice. The Lord will judge the world with justice. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart. I will declare all your wondrous deeds. I will be glad and exult in you. I will sing praise to your name, Most High. The Lord will judge the world with justice. You rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. Their name you blotted out forever and ever. The nations are sunk in the peat they have made. In the snare they set, their foot 
is caught. The Lord will judge the world with justice. But the Lord sits enthroned forever. He has set up his throne for judgment. He judges the world with justice. He governs the peoples with equity. The Lord will judge the world with justice. The prince of this world will now be cast out, and when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all to myself, says the Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had driven away a demon, some of the crowd said, By the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others to test him asked him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and the house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that it is by Beelzebul I dry out demons. If I then drive out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore, they will be your charges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man fully armed guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoil. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. When an unclean spirit goes out of someone, it roams through arid regions searching for the rest but find none. It says, I shall return to my home from which I came. But upon returning, it finds its swept clean and put in order. Then it goes and brings back seven other spirits, more wicked than itself, who move in and dwell there. And the last condition of that man is worse than the first. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The readings of today remind me of two priests who lived with me many years ago. We were in the same convent, in the same community, and both these priests were studying their masters in education so that they could be principals in our basic ed schools of Don Bosco. Out of that one was very, very serious. 
he was there in his room full time studying attending his classes and very serious about his study and the other guy came across as a very witty guy he was involved much in the parish church he would go out and do everything and when the results came i was shocked because the guy who studied very seriously got much less grades than the guy who was involved in parish and going around etc and that is the time i understood one principle in life we have to be very careful about the impressions that we pick up many a time our judgments are based on the impressions that we see and the readings like today both the first reading and the gospel invites us to look beyond impressions to see what the reality is and if you paid careful attention to the first reading prophet joel says something very beautiful when you are in repentance do not tear your garments when you are in repentance do not tear your garments tear your heart open because it is very easy to put up a drama in front of everybody it is very easy to make a nice show in front of our family and society to tear our garments that is the easiest thing that we can do in repentance what prophet joel is saying is look at your heart get your heart converted tear your heart open and get it converted my dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus a reading like this invites us to look at our own lives both you and me whether we like it or no we live our lives to create impression on others mind to show everybody else how good am i how religious am i how faithful am i how good catholic a christian am i but the reality is beyond this drama beyond this impressions that we try to give and christ invites us to this reading to look at our heart to see how wicked am i how malicious am i how i cheat others how i fall into lust how i see things that are not appropriate how i do things that are not appropriate how i speak words that are not appropriate this definitely cannot come from our garments this cannot come from the outwards it comes from our heart and the challenge before each one of us honestly is to look at our heart how clean my heart is and how i behave from within not creating impressions but from within then let's pray as what prophet joel invites us to do let us tear open our heart and not just our garments saint john bosco pray for us gather together in christ who conquers all evil let us come confidently to the father with our prayerful intentions let our response after every intercession be lord hear our prayer lord hear our prayer that the church may be renewed and give faithful witness to the proper values of life and so help restore a fallen world let us pray to the world to the lord. lord lord hear our prayer that christian believers may have the courage to speak out boldly in the name of christ let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that we may give wholehearted support in upholding the truth and in opposing the subtle influences of evil let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that the sick and the handicapped may receive the comfort of god's love from those engaged in caring for them let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that those who have died may be received into the fullness of god's kingdom let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer 
let us now in the silence of our heart please before the lord all our personal intentions all the graces that we stand in need of for ourselves for our family members and for all the other intentions that we are praying for the lord reminds us ask and you will receive and therefore with complete trust and confidence in the lord let us place all these intentions on his holy altar almighty father as we offer our prayers we thank you for your son who conquered sin and death who lives and reigns forever and ever amen Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have this bread to offer fruit of the field work of the man hands it will become for us the bread of life blessed be god forever blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have this wine to offer fruit of the wine work of the man hands it will become for us a spiritual drink blessed be god forever May this sacrifice, O Lord, be pleasing in your sight this day, as we humbly offer to be humble and contrite. Pray, dear friends, the sacrifice of yours and mine may be acceptable to Lord God the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings that we bring at your table, and graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as to your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through Him with great goodness you formed it anew, and so. It is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we to extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration. We acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We are about to begin the most holy part of this Eucharist. And if there is some special intention 
that you are praying for offer that intention on this holy altar and pray with faith and confidence that god will hear your prayer you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when suppose send it he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death o lord until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ may gather into one by the holy spirit Lord remember your church spread throughout the world bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our pope Jose our bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on each one of us gathered here this afternoon we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with saint joseph our spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have done your will through all ages merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him O God the almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever God is the provident father he loves us he cares for us and he always listens to our prayer with this confidence let us now pray to the father our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us o lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ who said to the apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you 
look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us now with a smile on our face greet one another with lord's peace peace be with you lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us peace Behold the lamp of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world happy are those who are called to the supper of this lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed but in the flesh and the condemnation heart and mind and body but save me for eternal life amen I give to my mind now I am yours to share and what I give please take and what you take please break and what you
Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth in the love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Sa Don Bosco Masaya. Sama Sama. Heart of Jesus, meek and mild, hear, oh, hear thy feeble child. When the tempest's most severe, heart of Jesus, hear. Sweetly will rest on thy sacred heart, never from thee, O oh, let us part. Hear then the loving children's prayer, O oh, heart of Jesus. Heart of Jesus, Cảm ơn các bạn đã xem video. Nếu thấy hay, hãy nhấn like, đăng ký kênh và comment để ủng hộ chúng mình nhé.